Hey Rick, I'm gonna try something new. I uh, thought I'd shoot some video of the, the weekly uh, rifle pistol league I'm doing and send it to you every week just so you can check out and see what's going on. Um, but I thought I'd take a minute just to tell you how the league worked and show you the, I'll tell you what divisions I'm working in or I'm shooting in and uh, show you the gear I'm using in those divisions. So it's, uh, it's a 10 week uh, rifle pistol league for adults. Uh, they have, uh, the divisions are center fire pistol with the iron sights, one for optics, uh, rim fire pistol with iron sights and optics, rim fire rifle with irons and optics, and then uh, pistol caliber carbine with uh, iron sights. No, pistol caliber carbine is just optics, I think. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm shooting in rim fire rifle with iron sights and center, uh, sorry, single stack pistol, I forgot that one. That's uh, 1911's uh, 45 ACP limited to 10 rounds. So uh, it's kind of like an introduction to action shooting league. So you could have somebody who's just barely familiar with firearms, uh, confident, but never done any competitions, they'll be right at home. It starts out pretty slow the first couple weeks and then builds to <clears throat> make it challenging for everybody who's in it. Um, uh, my cousin Mike is shooting in the league as well. Uh, he's done it a couple times, uh, so it's nice to be able to ride with him out there every week and, and spend some time with family and talk about gun stuff and not uh, not bug anybody else about it. But uh, So I'm shooting in a uh, uh, single stack, which is 1911s, and I'm running a Kimber Custom 2. Uh, it's a pistol I've had for over 15 years. It was used when I got it. Um, it's pretty much stock. The only modification I've made is a, a magazine well, and then I've had some checkering done on the front strap and on the trigger guard. But other than that, it's just a bone stock 1911. It shoots really well. Uh, I don't have any problems with it. Um, just a good old pistol. So for my pistol belt, I've just got a standard Kydex holster. I think this is a Blade Tech. Um, I'm running uh, 10 round mags and uh, two up front at an angle so I can get them real quick, get them in the gun. Um, and a couple over here. And then since uh, the courses of fire are uh, about 50 rounds every week, or the stage is about 50 rounds, um, I've just got a sack full of magazines to throw all my extra 10 rounders in, or eight rounders in. That way I don't have to uh, take my gloves off or, or go load rounds in a magazine, to slow everything down. That way I just have everything on my belt and I'm ready to go. Uh, the belt has a, has a Velcro on the inside. The corresponding velcro on this belt you run this through your pant loops and then you just strap your uh, your gun belt on over it so it makes it pretty handy so your pants don't fall down if you're switching from one to the other or have to move something around on your belt have to change something say in a three gun or whatever uh, so for rifle uh, here I've got a standard Smith & Wesson M&P 15 lower um, and uh, a2 buttstock, a mag pull, pistol grip, and trigger guard. Um, bone stock uh, trigger, nothing, nothing fancy or high speed. The upper on this gun is a CMMG. Uh, it's got the same profile as a 20 inch barreled uh, AR-15 or M16. Um, but if you measure it, <laughs> it's a 21 inch barrel. Because <clears throat> uh, the, uh, the bolt face stops right about here on this rifle, but if it was an AR-15 and, and two two three or 5.56, five, the bolt face would stop about here. But to get that profile, the, the barrel just had to get longer on this end. So even though they list it as a 20 inch barrel on their website, it's a 21 inch barrel and it's got the right twist for a 22 long rifle and uh, it shoots really well. Um, standard uh, A4 uh, detachable carry handle rear sight with both apertures, the, the large and the small. Adjustable for windage and uh, so windage and elevation. Um, I'm running a 25 yard zero uh, because most of the targets, I think the farthest we shoot in this league is 30 yards. So it's all pretty much close up, just ding them as fast as you can and move on. Um, I normally run a 50 yard zero, but uh, that puts me, uh, I don't know, about an inch, inch and a half low at 25. And some of the targets he throws out there are just a little bit bigger than a quarter. So um, just, just good to know where you're hitting. I can come 14 clicks uh, down and have a 50 yard zero. That just puts me low at 25. But right now I'm running dead on at 25. Puts me about three inches high at 50. So uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's a rifle. And then my rifle belt is just magazines. So um, 
running it up front. Uh, I've got the one to charge the gun over here when I first charge it, and then you know the fast fast one to grab it up in. I'm running 25 round Black Dog machine, uh, 22 rimfire conversion mags. Really great mags. Um, I had a bad batch. I think I got them a couple years ago where they all seemed to crack up here at the top of the magazine. But they replaced them all with brand new ones, and I've had no problems with the new ones. Um, I've also got some uh, 15 rounders of the same, same style, just in case we run into a long course of fire and I need to have uh, a few extras, and I'll stuff them in my back pocket or in my hoodie or something. But that way I can switch from pistol to rifle pretty quick, and I have everything on the belt. I uh, will run multiple strings, so we'll have a, a stage, and we'll run one string, and then we'll run another string. And so it's just nice to be able to bump my mags over so I've always got whatever's up front that I'm going to, you know, come down and grab for the gun or come down and get, get in the rifle. Um, have it up front, always loaded. So in between strings, you'll always see me fiddling with my belt and bumping, bumping my empty ones to the back and my, my full ones to the front. Um, that way if I had a jam or a malfunction, I'm, I'm coming up with a full magazine to feed it so I can get, work through the malfunction and finish the stage. But uh, it's, uh, it's warming up. So it's, uh, it's still winter out there. It's not bad. Um, shot a Glock this past winter league because uh, I like to shoot handguns without gloves on. I can shoot the rifle with gloves on, no problem. It doesn't affect me. But I still haven't trained enough with gloves. It's a downfall of mine. But now that it's warming up and it's, it's getting to be, you know, out of the teens most nights, um, me and my cousin both decided to shoot our 1911s so we can kind of go head to head. I threw it off a little bit. The first, the first week I, I shot a revolver. Um, just because I wanted to. I knew it was, uh, it was a real quick stage, um, not, uh, not a lot of movement, uh, real big targets, and not a high round count for each string. So I had a few more reloads, but uh, so he's got the edge on me now, but now I'm playing catch up, so I got some, uh, uh, got some work to do if I want to catch up to him. I think he's got about <clears throat> almost 40 seconds, uh, 40 second lead on me. So he's a pretty good shooter. I don't know if I'll catch him on that one. Um, maybe if he makes a mistake and I shoot it clean, I can, I can get close. But uh, so that's about it. Uh, just figured I'd give you an overview. Uh, we've already shot two weeks already. I've got video for most of that uh, of me shooting. I think I've got a little video of Micah shooting too. So you'll get a chance to see uh, him going through. He's shooting uh, in single stack with me and he's also shooting rimfire. But he's uh, got an optical sight on his uh, rimfire rifle. So uh, we're in different leagues there. But I just barely beat him by like a second and a half running irons and he's got a red dot. So uh, we'll see how it shakes out in the end. But it's going to be fun, and uh, hopefully I'll get all the week's uh, videotaped and get them uploaded in time, and, and you can follow along and, uh, you know, enjoy the fun, too. I know you don't make it out as much as you want to, and uh, this way uh, I can share with you, and you can enjoy it. Well, cool. I hope you, I hope you like it, and, uh, yeah, I'll keep the videos coming. Uh, can't wait to hear any feedback. Hey, girl. Hi. Yeah, did you hear my voice out here? Yeah, you had to come say hi. Well, thank you for not bumping the tripod. Thank you for not bumping the tripod. Yeah, we can't keep you out of the garage. We can't keep you out. You force that door open. Okay. Good dogs. Good dogs.